The thing that I like about social media is that you can connect with people, people share parts of themselves that they want people to post see. videos or photos. It's a lot. Whenever I want. It's a way of expression. You get to express whenever who I you want are. It. It's a platform. platform where you can feel comfortable to post and get a positive response. Insecurities. 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 How you're supposed to look. I wasn't up to the standard. I was supposed to act. And I had to change. Stuff the like smallest that. of things. It made me feel bad about insecure myself. And insecure and so insecurity. And I wanted to be more scared. Scared. Not, not being good enough. Shamed. So wanting to be good enough. Myself. Not being perfect. Not pretty normal. normal. Not at its normal. And I had to change. Things I can't change. At it. It convinces you to be someone else. To be someone you're not. You become the same as everyone else. Change someone. You're putting on that mask. At it, people are changing themselves to fit in with what social media wants. At it, it takes away our individuality. So they change themselves. They Photoshop. They edit so that every part of their life seems perfect. People started to judge who I was before they'd met me and created pre-expectations of who I was before even having the chance to see me face to face. I'd feel like very scared and start shaking because I'll be worried about what others will think of my post. What are people going to think of me for posting this? And am I going to get judged? Are people going to make fun of me? What will people think? What goes to their head when they see the thing that I've posted? As well, you don't want to show your vulnerable side, so you only show posts you're confident in and are most likely to cover your insecurities. People can belittle one another, bully, be mean, be sarcastic, patronising, rude, arrogant towards someone via a screen. That it's going to make them feel better about it when it genuinely it will just make them feel worse seeing other people that they are jealous of or that they think are prettier than them or they think are skinnier than them making you feel like you have to do something just because someone else is doing it. And if you don't do it, then you are wrong. You are bad. Horrid things said puts you down. That one harmless thing you read wasn't so harmless. Always be lingering in the back of your mind. There can be two sides to a story. Having to put up that guard. It does leave a dent in some sort. Having to put up that mask. Terrified with the real them being seen having to pretend to be someone who we are not. I don't want to end up like everyone else. Is truly traumatising. I have been victim of that as well. The internet, social media, is a virtual reality. It is not who you are. Can I trust myself? No one knows what perfect is. Am I good enough? To step out of this comfort zone. To break out. 
from these trends, from this box. I still want to have that individuality. Maybe who I am right now is flawed and imperfect. Maybe it's safer to fit in for now, to wait for the day when I'm more confident, more educated, more talented, more pretty, more popular, just more. Then maybe you can always be more. And there will always be someone to compare myself with who I think is better than me. And if I accept that, I can know that who I am today is more than enough. And life, you know, there's so much more to life. The internet, social media, it's a virtual reality. It does not define me. It is not who you are. It is not who I am.